Sometimes it's hard to know which way you're supposed to go. But deep inside, you know you're strong. If you follow your heart, you can't be wrong. Stand up for what is right. Be brave. Get ready to fight. Hold on. We're friends for life. And if we come together as one, complete the quest that we've begun. We will win the battle. Collected battles. Pokemon. Welcome back. Games from plays Pokemon XG Next Gen Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went to get to four and got the machine part, and now we're going to be heading to Agate Village so we can purify our teammates. So right now on the team we have Umbreon, Atalo, uh, Zigzagoon, Pugiana, and Meryl, if memory serves me right. Before we head out, I'm going to go over here because we haven't healed in a while. There's actually a healing machine over here. There we go. So even though we've had, uh, this is now being up to three weeks, I actually do not have a full team yet. And I've been really that good at team if I'm going to be frank. Only good members of our team so far really have been Mero, Umbreon, and Kalo. Being in there with Kalo is middling in my opinion. So we're heading to Agate Village now. Alright, here we are. We have to buy an item box here. Bright power. I believe that ups the power of bug type moves, if I'm not mistaken. So in here we have a lot of battles to be going on. So we're just gonna get into doing them. I like the look of the termination in your eyes. When trainers I block guys with each other, there's only one thing to do. Battle. Fo fo. This is getting my blood pumping. Fun old man Dusty. This is another thing. The Ori games, they always have very interesting names. So it starts off with a Squirtle and a Pigeon. I'm trying to up the level of my Umbreon as much as I can. So when you shout still try to get a Squirtle and then Fight the Pidgey, hopefully taking it out. We're good a few levels above here. We shouldn't have too much of a problem with these areas. Oh good, we got the flinch off. And it's a water gun that shouldn't do too much damage. Yeah, only 8 out of 40. About a fifth. We're actually going to swap targets now. So I'll keep it reverse what I just did. Alright, the Pidgey's dead. And so is the Squirtle. Pretty good. Alright, that's not one battle down. So our goal here is to purify at least one, if not all, of the members of our team, so we have a team of regular Pokemon. At least for now. Next battle is going to be up and around here. So there's a secret path back here. First thing we find, begin item box. TM50. We're getting a lot of TMs early on here. What is that one? Helping hand. Okay, that's not, that's not too good a one. Oh, it's really only useful in a game like this where it's literally all double battles. So the next battle is going to be the old lady here. I heard this child calling for me, so I came right to see what was the matter. Well, I found something quite nice. I know, we should have a battle. And if you can beat me, I'll happily give you what I found. Would you like to give it a try? Yes, ma'am. Ah, yes. Fan answer. I don't know where it is. Okay. Matron Sally. Okay, let's see what she's got. A Tyrogue and a Pucciana. Alright, shouldn't be too far to fight. Please. 
And there's a team mate. Mm. It's annoying. But we'll deal. So now, Taylor has double team one with Growl on his move set, so that's great. Getting his moves back. That's still do a lot despite the. Oh no. So, what just happened with Taylor? That is um, when this game is known as Rage Mode. So, every once in a while, after using a move, Shadow Pokemon will go into that as basically a shadow only status ailment, essentially. So, ooh, that hurts a lot. Um. I'm actually going to have to use an item here. Um, so basically what it is, is it ups the critical hit chance of the Shadow Pokemon, but in return, each, at the end of each turn, it'll take a little bit of damage, which is not good in Nuzlocke. Um, so I'm actually going to use an item on Taylor at the moment, because we need to get that out of them. Oh, I forgot about those crap baskets. Hmm, that's not good. Um, bring my head up to the unit. I'm going to get Kalo the F out of there. Just send Meryl instead. The main reason is I could call and there could be a chance that he'll survive, but I literally cannot afford a death this early in the Nuzlocke. It's only episode 3. You cannot be dying this early in such an early game area. I think that's Meryl did a decent bit. That did tell Meryl. Meryl's got better defenses than, uh, Kalo. So I'm still concerned that that would have hurt a lot. We can go with Shadow Slam. I think the Shadow Slam should be enough to deal with this thing. I was correct. Okay, where's the Pokemon Center? <laughs> Ah, most impressive indeed. You are then just as I promised. TM9. Again, we're getting a lot of TMs. What's this one? Thunder Wave. Okay, that's useful actually. That's really useful. Again, like I said, TMs can be used multiple times here, so we don't have to worry about only using them once. There should be a Pokemon Center right over here. Also, you know what? I'm thinking that I'm going to set this game to go faster because um, these trainer fights are taking a little bit. I want to actually get to some of the plot today. So. We're gonna just go through these. So Tokopi and the Zoro. Oh right, they're both fairy types now, so I can't go to headbun Tokopi and I'll call Tilo. No, not turning. Okay, good. Taylor's all set. Okay, we got the flinch off. Super effective now we did- Oh, right. I'm against the ability. I forgot. Uh, filter. So that weakens them. So I'm gonna headbun again. I'm gonna switch into Meryl. Yeah, all my Pokemon are doing pretty good at getting their recovery back. That drain case is going to be annoying if it's healing a lot. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, the game just shut down on me. It had to do that on me here. Alright. So I'm going to cut, and when we get through.
through this, uh, I'll be back. Cutting for now. Be back in a moment. Alright, we're back. So, uh, I just realized that, um, there was kind of an issue with, um, the, um, recording. So, I accidentally went further without actually knowing that I was not recording. So, this is going to be the right thing that happened. Nobody died, thank God. Although, Meryl came very close at one point. Um, so both Kalo and Meryl are currently ready to be purified, only left Kuchiana. I haven't gone ahead with any plot essential, thank God. So I took on this lady here, that guy in orange down there, and this guy across the bridge here. So three of them are defeated. And that's all the trainer that was in this area. So, yeah, that happened. Anyways, I'm going to continue on. And here, I didn't come in here yet. Uh, but they've got two item boxes. Oh, Soothe Bell, I'll be used real quick. And then we have TM11. Don't know what that one is. Willow Wisp. Okay, interesting. And this lady here, she's a move drill. So, I don't know what move she has that can change. Okay, that's one to start off with. Draco Meteor. Attack, Wide Guard, or Fire Punch. Nope, didn't think so. Icy Punch, Icy Wind, Snarl. Hmm. Snarl could be useful. Rain Dance, Sunny Day. So you got a lot of like very technical moves um, that can help with variety depending on what team you have. Um, kind of cool. But now that we got all that done, we're gonna go ahead and meet with Egan. The whole reason we came here in the first place. Again, sorry I messed up on the recording, but yeah, early game it's not that detrimental. Thank God. Hello, what a darling trainer you are. I'm Bella. You want something of me? Oh, Egan, you say? Ah, so you've come calling to see my husband. Are you perhaps GameStow? Ah, uh, just as I thought. You are GameStow. I've been expecting you. You got word about you from Lily, you see. I understand that you want to purify Shadow Pokemon. The instant my husband heard from Lily, why well, you should have seen his excitement and enthusiasm. Sorry, this calls for my services. Or some such, he went off running to who knows where. He hasn't come back since. Oh, there he is. Lily dear, I've got everything ready. We're ready for our visitor from the HQ up whenever he arrives. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. Our guest GameStone has just arrived. Oh, so you're GameStone. We've been waiting. I'm Egan. I've heard everything that Lily had to say. As you know, to purify a shadow Pokemon, it must open its heart to the trainer. For well, there are subtler approaches, battles are the best, no doubt at all. The place to do that here is in the Relic Forest, which is home to the Relic Stone. I will go ahead and wait for you there. My husband is so impatient, just as you've just seen. In this day, he was hired as the greatest trainer. So that's a long time ago. Okay, so I have a head cannon because uh, Egan's ace, at least in the original game, was a Pikachu. So I have a distinct feeling that Egan is a very, very old trainer red. Because he was uh, provided as the greatest trainer in the world, and his ace was a Pikachu. Just makes sense. And it makes sense that Pikachu is so weak now, because he's very old, and obviously the Pikachu would be very old. Got Kuchin up front, because he's the last one to get purified. I'll help you purify your shadow Pokemon by having a battle with you. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Wow, Gucci is already very low. Walking around can sometimes help um, 
in the purification of a shadow Pokemon. So that can definitely help from time to time. She has Bite, Super Paint, and Big Doll Eyes. I'm going with Shadow Paint. Go for the Super Effective. So Ziggy is using Tackle. Three damage. Fine. And it dodged. But we got the punch out, so no harm, no foul. Gonna have the zigzag. Wow, that was some. Oh, I was really scared of being scary. Throw the close heart of a shadow Pokemon, entering it in battle is effective. That's why you should make shadow Pokemon battle whenever possible. I push shadow Pokemon gets purified soon. You're still, aren't you? I've heard about you from Egan. Let's battle right away. Super Trainer Jill. Now, I never understood what was the difference between Super Trainers, Ace Trainers, and Cool Trainers. If we could figure that out. There's a Corfish and a Snubble. Okay, let's see what she got. Snubble has Intimidate. But so do I. Yeah, I'm gonna go head button shadow thing and get rid of the Snubble. Barely did anything. Can use dark and because those aren't very effective. Snarl. Can you think that these are special attackers? Wait, not very effective. Oh, my right, snarl is a dark type move. I forgot. The second I thought was a fairy type move. I am stupid. Going for Aqua Jet again. Just on my arm ground, but not hurting too bad. There we go. Snubble's down. Both is just pretty tanky here, I must say. Didn't even do half. Did lower its attack though, so that's good. There we go. Go for bite and shadow hand. Which again hurts, but not too bad. Okay. The corefish is down, and that is the battle. And now we end up at level 17. Oh, it's trying to warn Snarl itself. He's not a special attacker, but... I'll go with against Hyper Voice. If I had an S1, I'd keep Hyper Voice for the moment, but... Snarl, I think with that special attack going, this might be a little better at the moment. And he had great Fujiana. Thank God that's happening at the end of the battle rather than at the start. We're getting some money, 1400 out of that one. Wasn't that a good battle? I learned something from it too. Oh yes, you know how Shadow Pokemon behaves, begins, behaves strangely in battle? If that happens, calling out that Shadow Pokemon is supposed to help. I learned that right, but thanks anyways.
Is all woman going to aid a purple Pokemon? Are you ready? Yes. I wonder how our battle will turn out. I'm eager to find out. Matron Sue. So we've got Cacnea and Slugma. Let's just see what Snarl can do. I'm pretty sure Slug must use Ember, not mistaken. And then call again so it doesn't keep hurting itself. Wow, I was not expecting that. I want to see how much this does. Oh wow, more than I expected. The most special pack. And granted, that was a crit, but still. I'm gonna go for that again. I'll go for Shadow Fan Tacnia. Yeah, I was trying to use it twice, but I would have hurt um, um, the end of that hit. We need a special attack. And down goes the Slug Knight. So I can focus purely on the cat. Now. And there goes cat. Good. Who's to defeat Matron Sue? Oh dear, oh me, oh my. Uh, these battles are going pretty easy so far. I should tell you. It this useful bit of information. I heard that if a Pokemon has a close heart, it's good to keep it with you. Rather than keeping it in the PC storage system, you should keep it with you at all times. And now pushing in and keep purified. Ooh, lava cookies. Interesting. I'm pretty sure those are basically like full heals. I'm not mistaken. Yep. I'm gonna switch. Narrow to the front again. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Taro actually. Put him in front, because I don't think Narrow's gonna stick around for too long. Because I know the next area up is gonna be a lot of shadows, so we have a good chance of catching some possibly water types. I don't know for sure. I heard tell uh, from the playthrough I was watching. I only saw one episode way further down the line, but um, supposedly we get a mud tip there, so that could be useful. And this guy's actually using the same exact team that he used in the original game, just at slightly higher levels. Interesting. I'll make sure that Abu gets taken out. Because I know that I originally had all the elemental punches. So I don't want to... Oh, using Psybeam. I'm Halo. Oh, that's the award. Oh. Oh, no. Here goes Hihabra. So that horse is not attack, um... Mm. Please do not attack my Halo. Oh god, survived. Oh shit. Okay, Umbreon, you are fighting until you gain the fuck out. Oh, you're in. Holy shit, that's way too close of a call this early. Alright, there you go. Horse is down. Okay, Funnel Man Tim is dead. Hot, a hot battle that was. Oh my god. It's made me to see that Shadow Pokemon have appeared again. It's a sad world we live in. 
This was something that may hasten you. Quickly share Pokemon, open their hearts to you. Cologne case. We won't be using this too much now, but something we may use later if we need to quickly um, purify a Pokemon. But for now, I'm saying it's a waste of money. To buy the clones, I mean. Not to actually get this thing because this thing was free. So we're gonna heal up because the next trainer in line I know is Egan. And I think we should be able to do this no problem, but so in fact two of our teammates are weak to electric. And his ace is a Pikachu, but that could be an issue. So yeah, we're gonna heal up and deal with this. In up front. I know we haven't used 60 boom, but also don't have to. Also, I just realized something. We can go to nicknames right now. If I remember that this is the area where we can start doing that. The shadows we can do when we uh, purify them, but. This old man right here. For Umbreon. Hmm. You know what? Inspiration is striking. I'm gonna go with Donatello. I know that's a TV news story game, but all he tells Tommy do it. Donatello. Again. I think you already know it's gonna be average Joe. Uh, where's Jay? My blinders are. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna find the Joe. J, not mm. My mind is in the gutters right now. So the guy who's name will be Average Joe. Heck, you train your Average Joe with love and affection. Well, I don't nickname my moms, but most likes kind of a role that you have. I might just make sure we're right for this. Down to and Gucci in our front. There he is. Welcome, Game Stone. Your Shadow Pokemon should be ready to open its heart after the battles you've waged getting here. Now I shall be your partner. Who's my partner? Well, one Pokemon I caught as my first. The one that has stayed with me ever since. Again, that's why I'm thinking this is red, because if you play Pokemon Yellow, Red's first is a Pikachu that you happen to catch in the wild. Go, Pikachu. I'll be going to our first battle in five years. Let's keep this thing let's keep things tight. Oh yeah, in Coliseum he got himself wrecked by um, Cypher. Nick Trainer Egan. And there it is, the Pikachu. The question is what level is it? Oh my god. It's eight levels higher than us. I'm gonna just keep trying to weaken this thing down. Fake out. Ah. I'm gonna just keep lowering its stats down. 
Oh, of course. Because I know it's probably a special attacker, so having Snarl is actually pretty good right now. I'm glad I switched out for Hyper Voice. If I can do damage and lower down stats. Not the item. Call. It's pretty good, doesn't attack the Vienna. So if all members to lose, he would not be the worst. Okay. We survived. Thank God. Smile again. Keep blowing down special attack. Which two now Donatello. And I'm gonna get Poochina out. Okay, average Joe, time to prove your worth. Okay, I think I'm gonna give absolutely nothing. This is good. This is very good. Just keep going down special attack. As long as we get to this battle without anyone dying, I'll be happy. I didn't even know what Joe's moveset was, so this works out. And I'm not gonna be doing anything about him telling him the damage, so that's good. Because of this long is attack each time you make a move. And I don't even think it'll take down Joe in one hand, so we can just go ahead and use tackle. Yeah, we're good. Alright. And we have successfully beaten Myth Trainer Egan, the first real boss in this game. Being so as to be Myth Trainer Egan. Oh, bravo! I say bravo! Oh my god, that was actually a little scary for a minute there. My goodness. It was a white hot experience, our battle. And to defeat my Pikachu, that takes real skill. Pika Pika. Now let's see how your Shadow Pokemon is doing. Ah, uh, this Pokemon is on the verge of opening his heart to you. You did a good job looking after it. Now you should use Power of the Relic Stone to finally open the Shadow Pokemon's heart completely. There's a Pokemon that may open the door to his heart. I'm gonna go with Caleb first since it was the first one we found. Ooh, this area's lagging out bad. There we go. Extreme speed? Ooh, that's an interesting move for a Kalo to have. It's a good move, but really early in the game for something like that. Yes. Hmm, what do you want to name you? Hmm. I'm gonna go with Tweety. Where's my W? Where's the Y? Nope. There we go. Tweety. Alright. There we go. Well done. That Pokemon has finally returned to its former self. For the time being, we should return to my house. We'll come right back here and just finish up your vacations after. This is a cause for celebration. You successfully purified your first Shadow Pokemon without incident. So, one can't be too happy, not with the knowledge of Professor Crane's abduction. You see, he was a frequent visitor to Akea upon several, up to several years ago. He was conducting extensive research into the relic stone, you see. He said that it was for completing an entirely new purifying system that his friend thought of. Just for clarification, but his friend would be uh, your character, or 
as this person would be known the XD game Michael's father. Wonder where the kidnappers have made off with Professor Crane. It must be worrisome for you too. Lateral well, abduction, dear. Didn't you need to mention what Vander saw? Ah, hmm? uh, yes, that's right. I need to tell you about Vander. We have a friend by the name of Vander who lives on Mount Battle, which is a place for of training for trainers. Vander claims to have seen sinister characters out in the desert, where few people dare to tread. Okay, so Mount Battle's next. Sounds intriguing, yes? Mount Battle's to the northeast. Be sure to visit it. Alright, so we can go. Oh, yes, GameStop. May I have your PDA number? Fine, if I hear anything, I'll make certain to get in touch with you. Alright. So we are going to go back to the real stone real quick. And finish the the rest of our team back to normal. Marrow next. Let's say Poochina Blast. Alright, there we go. Marrow's back to normal. So let's see what move we got back. Play Rough. Another good move. Up with 17. Now it's on part of Umbreon, I think. Or Donatello now, as I should say. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to that. And I forgot to indicate it. Shit. I'll go over to the move rate and do that. I see you're doing the very obvious Kika Blue for its nickname. Won't forget Poojian, though. See what you got. Psychic fans. Ooh. Alrighty. Some interesting moves. They didn't give me the chance to look at my down. Okay, let's go get those nicknames settled. So I'm thinking Peek a Blue for Meryl. Very obvious, I know, but. Let's just say I have very little creativity. Um, for Poochiana. You can go for the first time that I ever saw one. He was uh, attacking Professor Birch. So we're looking at Birch. Yep. What are you doing, Mom? Sorry, I was gone for a second. Um, parents called me to uh, go do something quick, so I had to leave and then come right back. So let's get these nicknames settled on. So, start with Luciana. So as we said before, it's going to be Birch.
and to narrow. Now we have people blue. All right. So now we have the nicknames all settled on. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we're gonna head over to Mount Battle and meet with whatever his name was. They mentioned the second one. I forgot completely. Um, so I'm gonna end the episode here, and we'll see you guys next time on Pokemon XG Next Gen Nuzlocke. Have a nice day.